All right, guys, today in class, we talked about calculating um, variability again, and today we focused on interquartile range. So for homework, you have a couple questions where you have some data sets, and you have to find the interquartile range of that data set. So first things first, what is interquartile range? Um, in statistics, large sets of data are separated into four equal parts, and we call those quartiles. Quart, the prefix, tells us that's going to be four. And we break the data into quartiles so that we can see different percentages of the data. So those four sections are called quartiles. To calculate interquartile range, the first thing that you need to do is you need to order that data set from least to greatest. After that, we're going to find the median. And then we talked about today how that median goes ahead and separates the data into two equal sections. <coughs> so after you find the median, circle it because that's the middle of your data set. Um, then we're going to separate them into the upper and the lower half. After you circle the median, you're going to go find the median of the lower half. You're going to label that the lower quartile. Okay. Find the median of the upper half. Label that the upper quartile. And then finally, you're going to find the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. Okay. So when you take <clears throat> the median of the upper half and the median of the lower half, then you're going to subtract those two, and that will give you the interquartile range. So um, here's example one from your homework, and here is your data set. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to order that data set from least to greatest. So our order from least to greatest is 2, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, and 8. To find the median, what we're going to do is we're going to cross out numbers until we have one or two numbers left in the middle. In this case, we have one, and our median is six. Now, a couple other things that we talked about today was circling the upper and the lower extreme. Those are just other words for uh, maximum and minimum. The lower extreme is two, same thing as the minimum. The upper extreme is eight. Same thing as the maximum. We're going to use those tomorrow when we make box plots. Okay, so now our data has been separated into two halves. Here's our lower half, and here is our upper half. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the median of the lower half. So all of these numbers below 6 are in our lower half. So if I cross out 2 and I cross out 5, I get that 4 is the lower quartile. That is the median of the lower half. Now i got to do the same thing with the upper half. I'm going to mark out 6, mark out 8, 7 is left, and so that is our upper quartile. Now, we want the range of the quartiles, the inner quartile range. So we're going to subtract. We do our upper quartile minus the lower quartile. We had an upper quartile of 7, lower quartile of 4, inner quartile range is 3. Okay. So you're going to use that same process on all of the other problems. Remember that if there's two medians left in the middle, you have to add those together and divide by two. Okay, um, just keep that in mind as you finish off the page. Good luck.